can go to take this off my shoulders. Someone take me home. Hey, I'm Thomas. I'm Ali. And I'm Naomi. And we are doing a teaching project in Ghana, Kumasi. I spent uh, two months in uh, uh, Kumasi and all two months in uh, Divine International School teaching kids from age 8 up to 13, teaching math. And I found it as a really, really good experience. It, it taught me a lot as well. Yeah. Yeah, so we've both... Uh, been teaching for three weeks, so we're in our last fourth week. It's a very different way of teaching out here, but it's interesting to watch hey, hi, out, how they do it out here as well. Hi. <laughs> you had your maps drawn, you had other plans to hang your hopes on. Every road they led you down felt so wrong. So you found another way You've got a big heart The way you see the world It got you this far You might have some bruises And a few scars But you know you're gonna be okay And even though you're scared You're stronger than you know Come on, time. If you lost, I will My name's Martha, um, I've done the orphanage project here in Kumasi in Ghana for four weeks with Plan My Gap Year. The whole point of the project and volunteering at the orphanage is kind of just to support the sisters to care for children 24-7. Um, um, there's a section for disabled children um, and then there's a section for um, young, so young babies to toddlers. Um, you can sign up separately for the Disabled Project. Now I'm so, so glad that I've had the opportunity to because from this now it's making me want to, I know now that in future I want to do more volunteering back in the UK with disabled people and um, disabled children in particular. Just get to know these children and the people that are there. They're just, they're just like everyone else. And I, I think it's just great to give them the opportunity to feel like they are just like everybody else, which they are. So basically the whole experience is just like being in Ghana, totally different environment and different culture. Uh, different culture. Mm -hmm. They're really proud of Ghana and they really want us to spread that word around. People are just like always like greet you wherever you are, they like always say hello. <laughs> like behind <laughs> the camera right now there are people <laughs> watching. Kids, yeah. you can come here. Come, bruh, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> Kids are always around. Every day we find something different, I think, yeah. and meet someone new and it's always so cheerful and enthusiastic. Um, my favourite thing is probably the people here. They're so... Oh, baby, yes. Oh, baby, yes. They're so friendly and happy all the time, very welcoming. 
Aside from the teaching project, we did trips um, to the coast. We went to Cape Coast Castle. Um, there's a little museum there and we had a tour. And we also went to, um, to do a canopy walk. Cape Coast is really good. I thought it was actually achievable to stand up and surf. Yeah, pro surf. Yeah. I'm a pro surfer now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We tried to renovate um, one floor of the school, which is two classes and then computer room, which wasn't computer room really before, and as well as library. So we tried to build it up and I think we're quite lucky to be able to raise enough money. And um, I think my favourite part of the trip so far has been showing the kids the library and the computer room, like just seeing their faces like light up when they see it. It was really cool like to see the transformations of the classrooms change yeah. from how they started to how they finished. The whole time the kids were around just like trying to help us, sometimes maybe too much. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it's all it was always nice to see like how how involved they always are. Yeah. And it was really, really rewarding experience. We really enjoyed our time. Yeah. <laughs> Hope to come back soon. Someone take me home.